this is code fourth today. I'm going to show you how to connect SQL to the fourth programming language, or you can think of it as using fourth to read a SQL database, or you can also uh, program it to write to a SQL database. So if you download fourth, they give you a sample uh, SQL database, which is called library.db. And they give you uh, a few uh, demo examples. And you may be kind of curious how you can use the fourth programming language to connect to SQL. So that's what I'm going to cover. First thing you need to get this up and running is you need to get this file in there. It's called SQLite. 3.dll all you do is go to sqlite.org download and the specific file you're going to download is the pre-compiled binaries for windows make sure you get the 32 bits um, if you use the 64 bits dll uh, you'll get errors and you may not be able to connect to SQL. I was able to get it to work with the 32-bit DLL. So once you have that unzipped, you're going to put it into this file path, which is fourth ink, swift fourth unsupported, SQLite, and you're going to put it in this folder right here. Uh, the version I'm using is swift fourth you can download a free version at fourth.com and you can follow along if you download the, the free version. So once you get this imported, you need to modify these files because it's, it's kind of an unsupported thing and it's kind of tricky for me to get up and running. So next you're going to click on uh, demos. And the original file just says requires SQLite3.f. And I was not able to get this to work, so I had to specify the exact folder path to get this file to, to work. So, so basically, you need to point to that file. You could have it point to your desktop or wherever you save this uh, specific file, SQLite3.f, which is uh, this file right here. So make sure, you know, these paths are correct. Next thing you want to do is you want to point to your, your library.db. All you need to do um, when you first open this file, it's going to look like that and you're going to get an error because it's it's not you know pointing in the right direction so all you need to do is just uh, tell it exactly the folder path which is like i said this folder path up here you want to point it specifically to that file for the demo and once you've you know pointed it there you can do the same for demo two, which is, you know, the same thing. Okay. So once that's all set, you can close it out. Um, this example database has, uh, names, first name and last name. Um, and you can see the file right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use force to connect to this database. I'm using DB browser for SQLite. I think it's free. It's a free SQLite database browser. All you do is open your database and you're going to click on this file. If you want to view it or modify uh, the database in any way. Uh, I'm going to close it out and we're going to run this demo. 
So all you need to do to run the demo is you need to type in include, type in the folder path, and then we want to point to demos.f. And it says type demo one or demo two to see the demos. So we type in demo one and we see that we've got our database. We're connected and we're displaying stuff from the database. You can type in demo two and we're seeing data displayed from our database. And with these demos, Uh, you can build it out. You can get as complicated as you want with your SQL query, but I won't cover that in this video. I'm just trying to show you how to basically connect to SQL using forth. And you can basically follow this format. And I think all you need to do is modify this, which is your SQL string. And you can, you know, come up with any SQL database query that that you can think of. So that's a quick little demo on how to use forth to connect to a SQL database. If you like this video, subscribe and let me know what you think.